showing you guys how to do a firmware update and get the DM9680 compatible with the Midas HD96 for the Heritage Z. So first thing we'll need to make sure is we know what this IP address is, 192.168.80.1, and then we'll show you some things on the computer. So Windows 11 is a little bit frustrating. Finally get used to something and they change it. So you'll go down, click on the little Wi-Fi, click on the settings on the bottom. It's going to pull up this. We're gonna change and edit our IP address. And it was set to, before I did it, we were set to automatic DHCP. You're gonna to set to manual. And then when you set it to manual, you need to have it set to this IP address, 192.168.20.3, subnet mask of 255.255.0.0. You will save that, which I've already done it, so it will cancel. So then you can actually go to the uh, any window or internet browser. So I'll just pull up the one I already had, which will be our Internet Explorer. And once you've got that pulled up, you type in the IP address that was on your device. So this one's 192.168.80.1, and now we're inside of it. So next thing you'll wanna do is make sure that you've already downloaded the release, the latest one. You have to be super careful that your device is in at least a version 1.5 before you download the 1.5.1. So we'll go ahead and get that downloaded and come right back. We have that downloaded, we're going to click on update firmware and we're going to choose the file and our file will be under downloads and once we go on downloads we have the latest tor version and that is it and then we'll hit update and then we'll just wait for it to update and hopefully we'll see some things over here on our device and i'll let you know in just a minute thing i did fail to mention we do have an ethernet cable hooked up to ethernet control that is going into the back of our computer you don't have to go through a switch or anything else it does say the update is started and we will just wait for it to finish and so it had said update started up here and uh, on the screen i've got the picture i just showed you guys on the update and then went back to the ip address and since it says ip based there was a home button so i just clicked on home and we went back to here and now we're on version 1.5.1 so that is it to get it updated to the latest firmware on this. And then we'll take a look on what to do on the Heritage D. So to switch out these little guys, you pretty much take all of the bolts out from there. There are ones that go across the top and you still of course leave the connectors bolts in. And then you have the connectors that go, or the bolts that go across there and then over on the other side. And once you've got this thing open, you can see our old fiber that's not gonna be useful with HD96. Press down firmly on that tab, that'll pull off. This one's a little more tricky, especially with one hand, but same thing, you'll push down pretty hard while not pushing a lot of pressure on the connector here. And then this part is going to slide off, which I'll bring down that little part and it slides out. And then we will replace it with the DN96 multi-mode kit. So that's going to include a new insert that we took out of the other one. And it will include the multi-mode fiber. But you need to make sure everything snaps in and you'll actually hear a snap. Route back under here and then snap back into here. And this is a little bit hard to get to connect. You have to just very carefully work around until it goes in and connects. But that's about it to switch it over to the multi-mode. And so now we have got our 9680 hooked up Ethernet control and we are going out of our, in, our output one, input one, whichever one you want to call it. And we'll go over to the console. We're going to click on menu and then you'll go to update manager, which we're already in. And then we will select our IO box device updater. So you want to make sure that you've already got your surface as up to date as possible to your console itself before you do this and it automatically found that we have our little guy right here we selected it and then we're going to update selected and it is going to start the update on the 9680 and it's really that easy so we're about a minute and a half in and we're up to 78 percent so not taking terribly long to update these and it does look like you can do updates through hypermac which is kind of neat so i guess you could actually be hooked up to one of the 9680s and then you could update all of your other things that are hooked up to it. So we'll see. And actually, it'd be down here. So 9680, and then the eight boxes would be corresponding to it. 
So we'll let that thing update and then we will see if we can get connection through it and then show you guys our other ideas in another video. All right, so you will log into your mCloud account and then you will go up to our things here and then we're going to go look for firmware. And once you click on firmware, you'll be to the screen I was already on and we're going to get the DN9680 download. Once you get the 9680, I'm going to have to turn off Wi-Fi again on the switch. And then once Wi-Fi is off, we will still be connected to our Clark Technics DN9680. And just to where you know what that looks like, we will go back to the same place we were a minute ago. And we are still directly hooked up Ethernet cable into the back of the 9680 over there. <clears throat> so once we are back to here, We'll go to firmware update, and this is going to be after you've done 15.1. If you don't get uh, the, sorry, it's not 15.1, the 1.5 one. But if you don't already have it updated to 1.5.1, and you try to do this, it will completely brick it, and you will not be able to use it again. So do 1.51 first, then we're going to use the newest update. So this update is going to be the DN9680 with HD96. We'll click on that and we will hit update and it will start doing the update. All right, so first thing to remember is this stupid button up here. You have to hit it to be able to get the copper and blah, blah, blah. So next thing to remember is when you're patching these, you have to set the IDs of these. They can't all be one. Is that correct? Correct. So we've got one is one and one is two, and then at that point it fixed our problem with the 151, 154, and I think that was also our beeping pro or our <coughs> problem. Mm -hmm. So if phantom power is on, it was going like with reverb. That's really fun. So that's got that fixed, and now we've got all this routed. So we'll make a new video on the routing.